fuck? Someone who literally just sits here and says, I'm just going to watch someone else's work all, all day. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to just watch this video. And I'm just going to talk over it. And I don't really have much to add. I'm going to make a joke every once in a while or have a reactionary uh, face like, hey, stupid reaction or whatever, right? I don't think that that's valid content. And I never have. And I've told you guys that over the years. That's why I, I don't want to do that. Um, and everyone does it, by the way. Take a look at any content creator from the smallest to the small to the biggest to the big. When they have a day when they just don't want to do any work, they do a react video. Okay? It's called lazy. Yesterday. I'm serious. Okay. So far today, I received a single tip. That single tip is a dollar tip. And that dollar tip is from an uh, is from an anonymous tipper. He says Peacemaker from the Suicide Squad was a huge HBO show success. Got to be fair, admit you don't have your finger on the pulse of what's cool. Well, hold on a second here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's back up a second here. All right, I didn't say Peacemaker. I said Suicide Squad. Can we not admit that in the last five to seven years? We have seen an overwhelming amount of content for the Suicide Squad, right? Can we agree that, with that? You just had two major movies, you know, comic book spinoffs, story spinoffs, and now a game, correct? That's a lot of content for a group that I would say before the, the, the uh, movie came out, the first movie, I never heard of them. I didn't know who they were, right? Oh, by the way, that first movie didn't have Peacemaker in it, right? Now... Peacemaker went on to have an HBO Max series. Okay, HBO Max exclusive series. All right. Did it do well? Did it not do well? Apparently it did do well. Has anyone talked about it outside of I mean, seriously. Where's the buzz? When it was on and and airing, you heard a little bit about it. Okay? Has Peacemaker become a mainstay of culture? Is Peacemaker all over the place? splattered everywhere is peacemaker even in the fucking video game it doesn't matter if there's one show that's a flash in the pan success it's fine if it is you are grossly over exaggerating i'm talking about major mainstream popularity we have seen the suicide squad shoved down our throat for the last five to seven years and i can't justify why no one knew who they were before the movies and quite frankly, I'm not aware of anyone who's absolutely demanding more Suicide Squad content. Now, you can argue maybe there's a one-off success story. If anything, maybe the one-off success story is the Peacemaker. But how does that make me wrong? Like, basically, you're tipping me a dollar to say, you're all you're wrong. What? No. Stop. I swear to God, people really are trying to grasp at straws when it comes to, like, let's make something that Phil said today proven wrong. No matter what. See, that Peacemaker show did well. Great. Great. Good for it. And, you know, I'm really happy that it did. Because, you know, if it's funny or whatever, good. I mean, I have HBO Max. Maybe I, maybe that's one of the shows I will eventually watch. Right? Maybe I will. If you, That's one of the ones you guys would like to see me do. Um, as a react. Remember, right now I'm reacting to The Last of Us. But that'll be done in a few weeks. Maybe you'd like to watch me or, or see me w watch some of the Peacemaker and do some react to that. Give me some mini reviews or whatever. I'd be I'd be happy if that's what you want. All right, but I hate to tell you this. All right, I'm sorry to spoil for you. You're living in a bubble. Peacemaker is not some ginormous mainstream, well-known household name. <laughs> He's not. Sorry, it didn't happen that way. Fans of pro wrestling know Peacemaker because John Cena played the character. Fans of DC know Peacemaker because he's the breakout star of that Suicide Squad movie. By the way, that movie didn't even do good. That James Gunn Suicide Squad movie did not do well. You're fooling yourself, all right? What it is, people now live in these online bubbles of the content they like. And then they think that that is like the end-all, be-all of everything. It's not. It's not. You're, what you're, just, you're living in a circle of people who loved it who talk about it constantly and act like it's huge. I mean, was it popular? Yeah, on HBO Max for a while. And then they went on to the next show on HBO Max. And who's talking about Peacemaker now in 2023? No one. That's that's how that's the nature of the beast. But you got to understand what you're, you're not understanding what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we've systematically 
had Suicide Squad shoved down our throat for so many years, and I don't know of anyone who's been asking about it. Like, who wants more? Who asked for Suicide Squad the game? Wouldn't you rather have had Justice League the game made by Rocksteady? I think everyone would probably say, yeah, I would have rather had that. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. All right, you understand? I'm not saying, oh, Peacemaker wasn't popular. Who said that? But that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to put words into my mouth because you're so desperate to make me look bad and act like something I said was wrong. And it honestly just, it looks sad. It's sad on you that you got to sit here and try to like, you know, nitpick stuff that I've said to try to say, ah, I see you were wrong. Well, sorry. I wasn't. You're wrong because you're trying to say something that I never said. Okay. No. So someone just threw the dollar. Your tantrum has proved that person's point. There's no tantrum. You, you were, your point was wrong. I explained to you how the point was wrong. Your tantrum proved my point. No, 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 no. What I've proved is that you're an idiot. Okay? You're just, you're a dummy. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I, mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, wow. You're stupid. Anyway. Okay. So let's... Uh, no. Someone tipped a dollar, an anonymous tipper. Can you agree when a new viewer would come to your streams and see you calling everyone idiots, they get the wrong impression of you? No, because that's one moment. That's literally one moment, and it's not calling everyone idiots, by the way. It's calling one specific person who's actually trying to make me look bad and, and put words in my mouth or misrepresent me, which is what everyone tries to do on the internet, and they are rightly called idiots, because they are. They're just people for drama, and they're pr trying to cause problems for people, and they shouldn't even deserve the time of day. They happen to toss me a dollar, so I got to read their message, right? No. If you were here for an actual stream and you sat down, you'd see that's not the majority of the stream. That's a misrepresentation because that's the one moment out of today's, you know, two-hour podcast and today's marathon of React. There will be a few distinct moments where I have to address idiots, and I get rid of them, and that's the end of it. And then we move on, and we have a great day. But those will be the moments that are highlighted. Here's all Phil did on stream today. Look, he called three people idiots over the course of eight to nine hours of streaming. Yeah, because they are. That's life. In life, when you go out of your house every day, you're going to encounter a couple of idiots. They're out there. But you don't make that the end-all, be-all of who you are. You don't make that the highlight of your day. You just brush it off. You move on. That's the way to approach it. But when you have a moron who's micromanaging everything you do and following you with a fucking camera and says, look, here's the three idiots Phil encountered. Here they are. Here, that's all Phil did today. That's a, a, a huge, gross misrepresentation. You can't stop that. But you have to hope that someone actually is intelligent enough to see past that nonsense and actually see who you really are or what your content really is. I can't make them. You see what I'm saying? I can't make people be smart or do due diligence. But all I can do is do my best to, you know, not take insane nonsense bait from these trolls, which for the most part, I don't anymore. You know, you, you guys have no idea. Out of all these dollar tips I got this morning, I, I already ignored three or four of them because they're just blatant troll bait nonsense. They're just trying to get me, oh, he did a rant. Actually, there was no rant. I intelligently addressed what you said. Oh, that's a rant. Why? Because I talked for more than three seconds? Do you think if someone speaks on a topic more than three seconds, that's a rant? It sounds like you're an idiot. Oh, look, I called someone an idiot. Yeah, because they are. This is nothing wrong with any of this. This is intelligent discourse. <laughs> that's, that's light. Some people are just, they don't get it because they're so, what it really is, people are so into watching crap on the internet, they don't even know what intelligent discourse is anymore. You know what I'm saying? They don't even understand it. They think that, oh, it's just supposed to be uh, three seconds. And if it's longer than three seconds, you're a dummy, right? So here's someone else giving a dollar. Shout out to Ray Ayanami. Good, good for you. I don't know what that is. It's probably some meme, but thanks for the dollar tip. Okay. <laughs> who the fuck is Ray? Don't know who that is. Ray Ayanami. All right. Green Goblin says, what about filling the entire bottom half of your streams with random TikTok videos for those with ADHD? No, no, no. 